back to uh, uh, the regular radar, you can see that uh, we are looking at, uh, again, this particular cell here, another one which is uh, further to the north. Those are the areas. Go back to the uh, debris signatures that we're seeing. We still have this one here. Uh, this is what is uh, going to be passing, uh, the crossing over the Red River between Elm Grove and Nynock. Let's see if we can get some of the other communities to pop on here. You can see it looks like we mentioned McDade, a Atkins, Poole, Cooterville, uh, Caspiana, Lachute, all of those areas in line to see this uh, move into your area here uh, in the next couple of minutes uh, as this moves to towards the uh, north and east. Uh, zoom out once again. Let's show you the overall line again, just kind of show you the progression okay, we of the uh, winds concerns here. And you can see it does look like uh, the northern extent of these strong winds here in North Bossier is pass through plain dealing. Uh, Rocky Mount uh, looks like it's just passing through Houghton and Princeton right now. You can see the winds dramatically increase here south of Houghton down towards Nynock. That's what's going to be moving over Lake Vistano here in the next couple of minutes and then arriving near and south of uh, Minden, Sibley and the, the Heflin areas in the next couple of minutes as well. Let me do a quick uh, uh, update on the timing of again we're talking the overall winds uh, here, just since they can also produce some rather uh, significant damage if they are strong enough. Again, we're looking at some of the ETAs here. Deverly 1027, uh, Mount Lebanon 1045, uh, Sibley 1022, Athens 1046. So that shows you when this will be moving. And so Sibley, uh, Minden, you could probably look at the same time, a little bit after 1020, 1020, 1025 is when that'll be arriving in the Minden area. And you can see we do have another Yep. significant and uh, there is a new debris signature there a little bit further south so this the one that's on the south is looking a little more impressive so folks that are uh, between Howard and Williams and eventually up towards Nynock uh, need to be in their safe space because there is uh, looking like there is a tornado on the ground there yeah, right which here. is a little bit further to the south of the one that we were focusing on earlier that's one right here which is just now crossing into it looks like Red River Parish you can see the uh, signature indicated here, how it matches up with the shear markers indicated. So this is just a few miles to the south and west of the uh, Williams, uh, Louisiana area. Uh, it is going to pass to the north of uh, uh, Pierre Bayou and then uh, continue to work its way uh, probably a little bit south of Nynock, Loggy Bayou, and then uh, move further to the north uh, up towards the, what is that, Tullis area? and Wood, Woodward, Woodardville uh, there in southern, in Bienville Parish, I should say. Uh, so that is where this particular storm is going, and you can clearly see how that debris signature lines up there with that particular thunderstorm. And just looking elsewhere, and we often talk about when we see these S's here, that is also a good indication uh, on this particular product of uh, a tornadic storm. We, so we do have more than likely have a decent tornado or rather po potentially large tornado on the ground, which is uh, making its way towards the east. Zoom in here and to show you some of the locations here between Howard and Williams and moving up towards Loggy Bayou as it moves towards the uh, northeast. Go ahead, Josh. There's so many, there's so many tornado yeah. warnings right now. We have another one uh, for folks that are wondering. It's going to be up in North Bozer, uh, North Webster Parish. Uh, there was briefly maybe some debris that popped up there. Um, would have been just between uh, Cotton Valley and Benton. Yeah. For at least one scan, we could see a little debris. Uh, that popped up yeah. on radar. Um, it's, so that storm is what the one that would be headed into the Cotton Valley ar area right now. At the moment, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, I don't debris, see anything here. It looks like wind to me. Yeah, but I believe for one scan, there was some debris there, which is why the uh, Weather Service has issued that tornado warning. Does include portions of uh, Bienville parishes, or pardon me, yeah, Webster, Bozier, and portions of Bien or Claiborne parish. Claiborne, it looks yeah. like, yep. So it, just to kind of touch on some of the velocity, velocities that the radar is seeing and showing 50, 60, we could be looking at gusts in this thing of, uh, you know, in excess of 70. And we're talking, you know, widespread uh, as well. So we, we mentioned the uh, uh, shear aspect of this. Uh, notice this part of the line, not quite as strong as it was earlier. Let me go back and, and do this. I know what I have to do now, so it won't take me very long to fix this. Uh, so uh, again, what we're kind of looking at here, make sure I did fix it, and apparently I didn't. Mm. Go ahead, Josh. You're just trying to rock it back and forth? I'm just, try I'm just trying to move it. It just won't work. <laughs> and you can, uh, if you want to flip it back over to links too, 
I believe what we're showing you now is uh, just the shear. You can see uh, as, as I move this back and forth, you can see there was a little more shear uh, with these storms as they were moving out of uh, Caddo and Bossier parishes, and the shear is uh, starting to lose out anyway as far as the northern section of these storms. But you can see uh, just how much shear is associated with these storms that are now making their way over towards uh, that's going to be Lake Bistino, where you see that little bit of a bow right there. That's where we typically see some of the higher winds with some of these storms. So if you're over in the Lake Bistino area, I know that's north of some of the tornado warnings that we have been talking about. There are going to be some very strong winds that make their way uh, through Bistino, and of course, watching the tornado circulation uh, down towards Ninoc, which is making its way off to the east. But uh, again, up and down that line, anywhere that you see the shear, uh, that's where we're also seeing the potential, um, again, for some of those tornadoes to pop up further to the south. So we have, I mean, you can go ahead and count them. We have one, two, three, four, five tornado warnings currently in effect. Yeah, and you know, we, we focus a lot on the tornado warnings, but to keep in mind that the winds can also cause more widespread damage. Uh, with uh, as they move through the region. So uh, again, Josh was mentioning the uh, shear product here. We do still have our uh, shear marker here indicating and mention these cylinders. When we start seeing these cylinders, those are often a good indication of tornado activity and uh, see if we have anything as far as a debris signature still left uh, with this uh, particular uh, storm here uh, as we've been tracking this as it's made its way uh, across uh, very close to the river now and is uh, moving into the far north uh, east or northwestern sections of uh, of uh, Red River County, or River Parish, I should say, and you can see it looks like the best signature here is north of that. Let me take a quick look yes, at this. Yes, that was the one that yeah, we were watching old. earlier. That's old, so it doesn't line up with that anymore. So it looks like it's it's uh, long since gone. But uh, again, anywhere I'm just going to go down the line. This is what I was trying to do earlier before I got locked up. You can see the uh, the line itself. We're talking about expect very strong winds at the very least. And in spots, it's quite possible we could see, uh, at the very least, a quick spin-up. So you're looking at the strong winds approaching uh, Cachetta, approaching Harris. Uh, that continues as we look to the north. It looks like the strong winds here associated with this, with this particular line here uh, is working its way. You can see how that lines up with this line right here. Let's go back uh, to this so you can kind of see how everything relates. And so you can see that is uh, back within the, the cells that are moving, uh, again, approaching Lake Bistano right now. And you can see how that, we lose the reds up further to the north, uh, but we do still have, uh, to take a quick look at the uh, velocity scan of the radar here, we do still have, uh, again, some rather gusty winds in spots associated with these uh, uh, thunderstorms. So uh, again, that is the latest, an overall view. Let's kind of touch on what's happening across the entire Arkletex. We've been concentrating on where we have the uh, thunderstorms now in northwest Louisiana. Uh, notice uh, things quieting down across the northwestern sections of the area. Uh, we are looking at this line moving, uh, basically approaching Hope, uh, basically uh, Louisville, Bradley, Spring Hill, approaching Minden right now. It's uh, moving into Lake Bistineau, as we mentioned, and it has passed through Mansfield. Shreveport, Bossier, it looks like we're pretty much okay as we have passed this, uh, seen this line pass through. We'll have to keep an eye on anything else that pops up uh, later on this afternoon. And you can see this line does extend back into uh, parts of deep east Texas, and we'll have to watch these cells closely as they move into the southeastern sections of the area later on. But you can clearly see the wind aspect of this, how this is kind of bowing out here, which is often, <coughs> excuse me, an indication of uh, st uh, very strong winds which are occurring in these areas. And Josh mentioned uh, the tornado warnings that are currently in effect. And we also have numerous severe thunderstorm warnings that are also in effect for those areas. So again, <coughs> excuse me, that's what we're kind of looking at right now in terms of the thunderstorms. It does look like we have another shear marker which has popped on uh, the, the radar here as we uh, go back and take a look at the velocity scan here and see what we're seeing here. Right in here, it looks like we have something possibly developing here in terms of a rotation that is south of Sibley. Looks like a very close to Lake Bissonneau. And uh, this would be an area of concern. So uh, again, this is uh, an area where we already do have a tornado warning that is in effect as this particular storm is now very close to Lake Bistineau and is going to be moving towards the north and east. So let me zoom this out as we probably will have 
We have so many warnings, tornado warnings already in effect, but this is a new development here as far as this particular storm here uh, in, in its uh, development. Let me go ahead and uh, put this in the motion here. So it looks like it's moving in this general direction here. It looks like up towards between Sibley and uh, Heflin. And, and that, moving one, that one looks pretty impressive. Yes, on it the does. Has storm relative velocity as well. <coughs> excuse me. So see this one, which is, excuse me, got a little tickle, uh, which is moving uh, uh, into southern Webster Parish right now, south of Sibley, and this will continue to move uh, uh, up towards Dubberley, maybe uh, Heflin. We mentioned Heflin earlier. Uh, this is that same storm which is moving up towards Heflin and eventually moving up towards Ada, Gibsland, and uh, perhaps Mount Lebanon. So those are all areas uh, as of right now where this is going to be going. So let me zoom this out. First of all, stop it. And I'm going to do this whole area right here. Just, just Just a second. <laughs> Been one of those mornings with the technology. You know what I'm talking about? And I can just rattle off some of the, the names where Todd's drawing the, uh, where he's actually drawing that. It's going to be, uh, it looks like Diamond T Road, Port Bolivar, uh, Lake Road, and eventually down towards one Woodmill Road. So if you're in any of those areas, again, on radar, leading us to believe that we're seeing something developing there, ne no, don't necessarily have the debris that we were talking about earlier, uh, but just based off of radar, uh, we do believe there's something trying to form in that yeah. location. Yeah, and uh, I would, we have, you haven't looked at the debris yet, have you, for I that? I did, yet? there's nothing on okay. there. But again, this one, Josh mentioning the roads, I just uh, did the storm track, and you see some of the uh, communities that this could be in line to move in. You can see Heflin, uh, Ada, 1020, uh, 1035, Mount Lebanon at 1040. Looks like it arrives in Gibsland, perhaps, at 1042, and could arrive in Arcadia at 1053. That's the arrival of the line itself, at the very least. So it kind of gives you an idea of where this is going to be moving. Uh, again, we do... A lot of this area is already warm, but kind of specifically show you where we're looking at the strongest rotation here with this particular uh, thunderstorm. And in addition to, let me zoom into that since we just got some new data. Looks yeah. like we do have some yeah. debris there now as well. So again, just zeroing in here, you can see that's Diamond Road, Lake Road. Kind of shows you that's near south of Knowles Landy. Uh, here's uh, Yellow Pine. And I believe that is Woodmills Road. Is that what that is? Woodmill Road. Yeah. Okay. Again, we believe there is now tornado on the ground here. Yep. So and there's your tornado debris signature. So you can kind of see how that matches up with that. So if I'm going to circle this right here and see if that stays. So you can kind of see. <laughs> Try that again. Okay. So here we go. So here we go right here. And I'm going to switch products here to see what uh, we're looking at in terms of uh, the debris signature here. And you can kind of see how that matches up with, uh, as we go back and forth between the velocity, how sometimes there is a little bit of a lag, but we definitely have something on the ground here, uh, which is near Diamond Road uh, there in the, is that Webster Parish, Josh, I believe at this point? That's, uh, I'm gonna have to widen out the view. Yeah, that's, that's, south, that's going to be the south end of Webster Parish. Okay, so we're looking at Southern Webster Parish near uh, now to the south of the, uh, basically south of uh, the Minden, Louisiana area. So kind of zoom out, give you some perspective. This is what we're looking at. Again, this will track to the south of, of Minden and will, uh, uh, as you can see here, move up towards Ada, probably between Athens and Gibsland, and then up uh, probably a little bit to the north of, uh, well north of Arcadia, and probably move halfway between there and Lisbon uh, as it moves to the northeast. So this is where we're looking at our new tornado, which is on the ground currently uh, there in South Webster Parish. Uh, and I don't see anything else that screams uh, anything debris here as far as the other tornado warnings, as far as confirmation. But you can see this too is the only yeah. uh, signature that we have. There is something down here further to the south uh, that is showing up, and that could be an anomaly. I'm gonna take a quick uh, a look at that too, just to kind of... In your crossroads? Yes, I'm going to circle yeah, that. Yeah, some high wind through there, so I'm not sure what we're seeing. Yeah, it, yeah, they, I don't think that's uh, anything as far as debris, but we do have, you know, some pretty, as Josh mentioned, some pretty good uh, wind, which is occurring in those I'll areas. I'll say that the area that we were watching there, we were watching those twin debris signatures mm -hmm. earlier. Uh, that one that's there in crossroads is kind of a, a continuation of that. That very well could be something. I'll keep an eye on that okay. one for you. 
All right, so again, just kind of zero in on what we're looking at in terms of the uh, basically the strongest winds. Uh, zoom this out, and what we're looking at, we basically this is showing us wind, so to speak, in the atmosphere, or especially twisting wind. And where we see the reds in the past uh, has greatly uh, coincided with where we've had, at the very least, straight line wind damage. You can see that uh, occurring here, approaching Hall Summit, approaching Ringgold. Uh, approaching Hepland, uh, Sibley, it looks like that uh, breaks up, but not quite as strong here, further to the north, uh, in the northern uh, Bossier Parish or, or Webster Parish. But again, this has moved, for the most part, out of Bossier Parish. Quick look at the traditional radar, and you can see that uh, we're pretty much done as far as uh, Caddo, Bossier, DeSoto parishes are concerned with this line, and it will be moving out of our viewing area here in the uh, next hour or so for the most part. Uh, but again, all within this line, we do have embedded within this a couple of areas where we do have some uh, rotation occurring. Go ahead, Josh. So we know we likely have one tornado on the ground near Heflin, that's in South Webster Parish. If you yes. want to go down to Red River Parish, I believe I'm seeing something near Martin uh, yeah, that, that has popped up and it does line up with the, the velocity mode as well. So this right here would be our, grab the wrong one again. So this right here would be our uh, possible tornado debris signature, and we'll see how that matches up. Does match up here with a little bit of a, a couplet. So that is just south of Martin, Louisiana, uh, and that would be making its way up uh, probably near or maybe a little bit south of Ashland, Louisiana. It moves to the northeast at around uh, 40 miles per hour. So <clears throat> another area where we are seeing a little bit of a debris signature indicated here with the, uh, with the radar. And uh, let me go ahead and zoom this back out clear that off. Zoom this back out and loop this to see if we can see that's just popping up here in the last couple yeah. last scan of the radar. Let me go back and show the one that's up here in Webster Parish and where that has been and where it is going. I get my bearings. So here's the one here too. So we, we were tracking this one. Again, this is the one that was uh, uh, at one point down near Frierson, south of Elm Grove. Yeah. Look, it looks like that is weakened, but we've seen this new development here, which is now very close to Heflin, Louisiana. So it looks like it's crossing <coughs> uh, U.S. Highway 371 and is right now, more than likely, near Woodmill Road and approaching Heflin, Louisiana. So if you're in Heflin, obviously, you better be in your place of safety because we likely have a tornado on the ground getting ready to bear down on the Heflin area. As you can see, this is South Main Street here. Uh, and uh, a very clear tornado debris signature indicated here uh, in Webster Parish with this particular thunderstorm. And to kind of show you where this is going, it looks like uh, uh, this got, is Central uh, School Road. Yes, yeah, Central School Road, the north-south is Mims Grocery Road out ahead of that. So Mims Grocery Road, uh, Central School Road, if you're on Sand Plant Road, Lyons Road, Looks like yeah. uh, Bill Stahl's road. Yep. If any of those ring a bell, you know you live near any of those, that uh, tornado on the ground and, and pretty headed damage your way. headed your way. And it looks like uh, just looking at this, it probably will go a little bit south of Ada as it crosses into the uh, northern sections of uh, Bienville Parish and uh, Gibsland eventually keep an eye on this storm as well. So that kind of gives you an idea of where this is going to be going here as I'm going to look at a couple so it looks like it's taking a course just like this to me. It looks like as I look at this, these lines actually pretty good, I think. Maybe a little bit south of those lines is what we're kind of looking at as far as a possible track of where this may be going. Something like this is where this could be going here in the next uh, 45 minutes to an hour. Again, this is a confirmed tornado debris signature now on the ground there in the Heflin, uh, Louisiana areas. This is tracking its way towards the northeast at around 40 miles per hour. Uh, back to the uh, uh, wind concern of this, you can see in addition to that tornado, we also have straight line winds now approaching Jamestown, just moved through the uh, Ringgold, Louisiana area. Castor, looks like you have a pretty good uh, batch of wind which is headed your way as well. You can see the uh, southern part of this. Josh, you mentioned that Marsh, the Martin storm, it looks like it has weakened here with the last scan of the radar. Uh, doesn't look quite as prominent as it once did. I don't see anything as far as debris there now. No, it looks like that's gone. So that looks like that has maybe weakened someone there in the southern sections of, uh, uh, at least the eastern sections of uh, Red River Parish 
Uh, they're get about ready to move into the northern sections of uh, Natchitoches Parish. So uh, two concerns, really. We haven't had much hail, uh, fortunately. We don't need any more uh, issues. The main issues so far this morning with this line of thunderstorms that has been rolling through the region has been damaging straight line winds as well as we've had numerous confirmed tornado touchdowns as indicated uh, by Pinpoint Doppler. We haven't heard anything as of yet as far as any uh, injuries or anything as of that sort. I'm sure folks in the newsroom are busy trying to gather that information uh, and uh, we'll have that for you as it becomes available. But we have had, uh, again, several touchdowns that have been in very rural areas, something that we might add, uh, which has been very fortunate. So uh, this, the, the one that's moving through Heflin right now probably is one of the, the bigger communities that we've seen affected by one of these confirmed tornadoes here. As I uh, go back to the uh, uh, debris detection here, you can see it has made its way through the Heflin area and is moving through Heflin as we speak and will move along the border here between Webster and Bienville parishes here in the next few yeah, minutes. Yeah, I agree. It's, it looks like it's headed a little bit more east yeah, than the past it does. few. It does. It has turned a little bit to the right. So looks like parallel, maybe a little bit north. So you folks in Mount Lebanon here in uh, north, in uh, north uh, Bienville Parish, keep an eye on this, this uh, tornado as it is several miles away from you right now as I track this once again looking at this, uh, which is looks like it's moving more like this. We'll track near and a little bit south of Mount Lebanon here in the next uh, about to 15 minutes or so. Maybe a little bit less than 15 minutes we'll see this tornado uh, approach the Mount Lebanon, Louisiana area. So again, this is the uh, latest tornado that we have confirmed on Pinpoint Doppler as we speak, as it continues to make its way towards the, uh, it looks like east, maybe a little bit north of east, right now at around 40 miles per hour. And that is the only, uh, the strongest signature that we're seeing on the radar. The main concern is really uh, the widespread straight line winds that uh, uh, which are occurring in spots. We have had a couple of areas where we have seen uh, some rotation pop up. There was one cell down here near Martin. It looks like that maybe has uh, declined somewhat in terms of what it has been showing. But you can clearly see this line is racing uh, towards the east right now and is uh, going to be moving out of our viewing area here in the next couple of minutes. And then our attention will turn further to the south. You can see the line down moving into Toledo Bend country, not severe at this point, uh, as uh, we are looking at the leading edge of this, extending from Cachada down to Converse. This is moving more towards the uh, south and east, and eventually uh, this too will move out of the region. I uh, have to keep an eye on these, but it looks like the brunt of this probably is going to be with the northern half of this line uh, here in the northern sections of north central Louisiana and all this is going to be rolling its way over towards Monroe and eventually into south uh, east uh, Arkansas. Uh, a, a quick look at what's happening behind this and what's uh, kind of give you an idea, uh, something that we haven't mentioned uh, since it's been a while, uh, since we began early this morning online, is that we are going to be looking at uh, basically uh, a break once this first area moves through, we are going to be looking at a break uh, from the uh, rainfall for a while, and then we probably will begin to see some sunshine in areas. In fact, as I look at uh, visible satellite, you can see skies are clearing here off to our west. We'll see uh, the winds shift around to the south and southwest. We'll warm up probably in the low 80s, and then over the northern sections of the area, we could see round two later on this afternoon. Quick look at uh, uh, one thing to kind of show you that as we wait new data to come in from that Heflin uh, tornado. And as we look at uh, pinpoint, uh, I should say, uh, Futurecast, you can see that moving forward, I'm going to advance this to kind of catch up to where we are uh, right now, that we will see, uh, again, that break that I mentioned once this line makes its way through the area. Uh, again, we'll wait for this to, to catch up. And then as we go through the latter stages of the afternoon, notice the more thunderstorms developing to our west and northwest. These could graze the northern sections of the area and could pose a threat. One or two of these storms uh, could become severe later on this afternoon. So that's another thing, <coughs> excuse me, that we'll be watching for as we go through the, uh, the rest of the uh, day today. So again, round one will soon move out of the region. Let's go back to uh, Pinpoint Doppler and uh, uh, show you the rundown of uh, what we are seeing right now in terms of the latest with that thunderstorm, which is now uh, in southern Webster Parish near Heplin. 
zero in. In fact, it might be quicker just to do this. So you can see the uh, cell here that we're kind of watching is uh, right now to the east of Heflin, and it, is look, it does look like it's moving pretty much due east uh, with the latest couple of scans of the radar. Okay, radar. Try this again. So put it into motion, and you can see the uh, motion of this as it moved through Heflin, so you can kind of see the track that it has taken here. Maybe a little bit north of east, so you folks, Mount Lebanon, Bryceland, eventually Arcadia, Simsboro there in uh, uh, west of uh, Ruston, there in Lincoln Parish, also could be in line to see this. So this still, we still have a tornado on the ground more than likely. Let's give you an update on where this is currently located. This is a, a debris signature uh, that looks like it is very close to that's going to be Lions Road Grimes and Road? Sand Plant Road. That's basically where it's at right now. Where it's okay. headed is going to be up towards, uh, looks like CM Carter Road, NM Road, and then after that you're going into the Mount Lebanon area. Yeah. So you have Aubrey Road, uh, that, that's along there as well. So that kind of gives you an idea of exactly some of the uh, very specific locations that this tornado could be uh, could be headed towards uh, during the next couple of minutes. So uh, again, we do have a tornado warning for this uh, particular storm, uh, which is now along the border between, this is Bienville Parish, Webster Parish, Bienville Parish, and of course the corner there, moving right along the line right now and is uh, going to be making its way uh, very close to, if not a little bit south of Mount Lebanon, Louisiana, uh, there in the uh, Bienville Parish area. So this is the uh, uh, really the most prominent signature as far as tornadic activity that we're seeing on the radar, just to kind of zoom south and see another cylinder which has popped up. There is uh, here. a new tornado warning if you're looking near Ashland. There yep, is a new it. tornado warning for northern Natchitoches as well as uh, Bienville parishes. <clears throat> so that would be and this. That would uh, be yep. the storm coming out of Martin, I believe. Yep, that's uh, this one right here that is uh, very close to Ashland, Louisiana right now, and you can see the the uh, shear marker that, that has popped on, I mentioned the cylinders. When we start seeing those, we get really concerned. Uh, let's stop this and take a look at uh, another aspect of this. And uh, you can see the uh, BTI number, 3.7. We've seen that higher earlier this morning, but you can kind of get a sense on where this is gonna be going here during the course of the next, uh, uh, next 30 minutes or so. Looks like Jonesboro, uh, Lucky at 1047, Celine 1044. Uh, that, that is at that rather high rate. It may be a little bit too fast, to be honest with you. But uh, nonetheless, kind of shows you the uh, locations that uh, this will be going towards as we move through the uh, next couple of hours. So let me turn that off. Turn that off. There we go. So that is the latest tornado warning that is currently in effect uh, for those areas until 1115. Again, tornado warning for basically the northern sections of Natchitoches Parish as well as parts of Bienville Parish as this is moving towards the uh, east-northeast at around 40 to 45 uh, miles per hour. Looks like this uh, rotation, see if we can get, uh, uh, don't see anything as far as debris just yet, but it looks like Foster, Foster Arbor Road, Oil Field Road, there's New Rama, there's Ashland. This is where we have our possible tornado right now, which is going to be moving uh, again uh, towards the east and northeast, probably a little bit south of Brown as it continues that direction. A quick look at the, uh, uh, the debris signature here. Don't see much that really showing up that would confirm that something is currently on the ground, uh, but we'll keep an eye on, Josh will be keeping an eye on that. That being said, let me go back and probably have some new data on the storm further to the north. Uh, so let's go back and you can see that this has right along the, uh, right on the southeastern edge of Webster Parish is where uh, this tornado is currently located. You can see the pronounced debris signature. What this is looking at, again, this is a, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a rather ugly looking picture in, <coughs> in terms of all the colors, but uh, where we see all these, this is showing us is basically that uh, the radar knows what rain looks like, it knows what snow looks like, it knows what the hail looks like. If it sees something that it doesn't know, that's what it points out to us. So that means this is probably the debris that the tornado has picked up, uh, which is uh, zooming in here, kind of read some of the locations here, some of the roads, if they pop on. 
and get big enough, and I don't see any of that. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of in a rural area between there and Mount yeah. Lebanon, but uh, we have NM Road. Uh, looks if you like know, something you live Carter on, Road. Yeah. yeah, Louisiana 154, and then uh, as it heads into Mount Lebanon, it's going to be Aubrey Road. Yeah. And uh, Coffee Road and Rochelle Road. Okay, so that you can kind of see where exactly this is going to be going. And again, it's not very far from Mount Lebanon right now as we're looking at this uh, tornado, which is, uh, grab the wrong tool again. So this tornado is right now about three miles to the uh, south of, uh, southwest of Mount Lebanon. It looks like it's going to pass very close to uh, Mount Lebanon here in just the next couple of minutes. So you should be in your place of safety if you haven't already gone there already. Uh, and uh, we'll keep you abreast as to the movement of this as this continues to uh, move towards the uh, east and northeast. So that's uh, really the most prominent signature that we have as far as tornadic activity across the area. Looks and like we do have a little bit of debris maybe near Ashland as well. Okay, let's scroll down there. <clears throat> so you can see the very tight rotation indicated here. This is what we pointed out earlier. And it does look like we have some debris. You can see how that matches up. In fact, let me, let me circle that for you and uh, kind of show you how this matches up with the, with the signature that is on the velocity scan. So you can see we have our tight right away, green towards, spin. And you can see right in here in that same area, we do have a, what appears to be somewhat of a signature of possible degree just north of Ashland, south of Gines. It's going to make its way uh, up towards Old Saline and eventually uh, south of uh, Burt Place. And it actually, it looks like it's moving more northeast as the latest scan has just come in. Yes. Let me go ahead and clear that. Uh, so check that. Looks like more Pine Grove, Burt Place is where that may be going as it moves more towards, especially Pine Grove. Yeah, so you've got, it's over Pumpkin Center Road at the moment. Uh, Ridge Road is going to be the north-south as it heads into Pine Grove. Uh, yep, that's right that there, that's Rid, uh, Ridge Road. There's Car Road, and then eventually into Burke Place. Yeah. So it shows you very specifically locations where we probably do now have a tornado on the ground here uh, in the uh, far northern sections, uh, northwestern sections, I believe, of Natchitoches Parish. So kind of puts you in perspective of where this is uh, in relation to, uh, actually, it's in uh, Bienville Parish. I, I correct myself. So here's Goldana. Natchitoches is way down here. Uh, and you can see Arcadia is up here, uh, so you can kind of get a sense. This is over the southern sections of Bienville Parish. We have one tornado here, and we have another one here, uh, which is in the northern sections of Bienville Parish, which is uh, moving, again, more towards the east, northeast. This one moving towards the northeast, and you folks in Lucky will have to keep an eye on that. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, zoom in here a little bit more uh, since we uh, looked at this here and kind of get a sense of where this uh, could be going here, and uh, okay, so I, I got an idea of where this is going to be going. So it looks like it's going to be tracking in this general direction here. So it looks like it may pass uh, again this particular part of uh, Bienville Parish, and it looks like again a, a somewhat rural part. Here's Celine. And you can see no, none of, the, of those other communities really uh, popping on in that particular part of uh, Bienville Parish. So that is the latest on this particular one. I'll zoom in one more time, kind of give you an idea again on exactly where it is. It does look like, as uh, Josh mentioned earlier, that is, uh, was it Franklin Center Road? It's uh, Pumpkin Center. Pumpkin Center Road, okay. Uh, and then it will be moving into Ridge Road. We'll probably see it move here in that direction in just a moment and then right into Burke Place. Yep. Let's go back up north and take a look at the other tornado. This one you can see a little bit more pronounced signature here. We mentioned earlier that it was nearing Mount Lebanon. It is now south of Mount Lebanon and it looks like it's near Aubrey Road. Yes. Uh, that looks like uh, Quarters Road. Yes. And uh, <coughs> Quarles Road. Uh, so where it's headed and where you're pointing right now, that's Rochelle Road and, and Foster. Foster Road. And then Pratt. Into the community of Pratt and yes. Blue Ridge Road and further to the north, that would be Turkey Road, just okay. beyond that in Pratt. Okay, so that kind of gives you an idea of some of the 
De detail locations that this one is uh, uh, currently moving towards. Uh, look at the velocity scan here, and you can kind of see, again, that does lag somewhat, so we're probably looking at our tornado in this uh, particular part of the area. And again, just looking at the uh, wind aspect of this, something I haven't touched on here recently is that uh, we are looking at uh, anywhere along this line, uh, again, as we move through, uh, again, northern part of this does not look as strong. In, in terms of the shear aspect of this, but obviously uh, could be producing some uh, decent wind as we uh, look at the different products here. Uh, and where we have seen in the past, where we have these red areas is where we see more, at the very least in terms of straight line wind, and you can see as we move to the south, uh, that is pretty much it. Notice we have nothing further to the south here along the southern extent of this line for the most part, so far anyway. Uh, as the thunderstorms do continue here across uh, parts of uh, northern Natchitoches Parish, uh, extending back into the northern sections of Sabine Parish, uh, zooming this out and put this in the motion. And you can see a big push to the east here as far as this cluster of thunderstorms and not so much here as this moving uh, quite a bit more slowly. One thing we'll have to keep an eye on these areas since th this is moving more slowly. Uh, could see a little bit more rain in these areas that we're seeing uh, with these uh, thunderstorms here uh, with those uh, that activity uh, in uh, the eastern edge of the uh, Arkletex right now. So uh, again, that uh, is the latest. Again, Minden, kind of the all clear for wave one, so to speak. Uh, Spring Hill looks like the severe weather threat over. Minden, the same thing for you, at least as far as this wave. Shreveport, Bossier, Texarkana, obviously. All of East Texas right now, <coughs> with the exception of deep east Texas, as we still have a few thunderstorms that, that we'll have to keep an eye on. But it looks like, uh, again, the worst is definitely here over the eastern edge of the Arkletex, where we continue to track uh, two storms, which uh, do have the capability of, uh, and likely are, producing some tornadic activity. Uh, looks like th this one has kind of fallen apart somewhat. Of course, the one thing about this that we failed to mention, Josh, with this particular product is it's moving quite a ways away from the radar. I would say this may be the first severe weather event that we've worked that uh, we've since they've lowered the beam height a little bit. Yeah. So it's still far away, but it looks like we're getting to about 2,500 feet, 3,000 yeah. feet up. So you're not going to see as much debris. So ba basically what we're talking about here is because the radar shoots a beam out, but you have the curvature of the earth. So the farther away from the beam that the debris is, the higher up that it, the radar sees it. So as Josh mentioned, we're 2,500 feet above. About 3,000. 3,000 now. Yeah. So uh, it gets obviously a little bit harder to see that debris because it get, doesn't get blown up that high. The radar beam often, when it gets uh, that, this far away from the radar, overshoots it and we don't see it. Uh, but you can still see one, the, the uh, debris signature indicated, or not debris signature, but uh, shear marker indicated here, which is uh, uh, near the Gibsland area. <coughs> this is the storm which passed very close to uh, Mount Lebanon and is uh, moving towards the Arcadia area. If you live in Arcadia, it would be a good idea to, to seek that place of shelter if you haven't already done so, as we do have, again, this uh, a pretty good rotation indicated here with, uh, with the radar. And you can see uh, definitely, at the very least, some very strong winds associated with these thunderstorms. You can see 50 to 60 miles per hour. Uh, again, uh, uh, that's towards the, so you can kind of see the uh, gusty winds that we are experiencing here uh, with these uh, particular thunderstorms. So again, right in here is where we're looking at our, our possible tornado, uh, which is a little bit to the uh, east of Mount Lebanon and uh, is working its way uh, up to very close to maybe a little bit south of Arcadia. So Arcadia and points a little bit to the south or areas where you should be in your uh, place of safety as this uh, moves through that part of the, of the Oracle text. Further to the south, uh, don't see anything. It looks like this right here is what's left. That was uh, of that storm that we did have the tornado warning. Again, that is working its way across the southern sections of Bienville Parish. So Bienville Parish now under the gun as this one right here moving through a very rural part of the parish, now just a few miles southeast of Lucky, Louisiana. And uh, this too moving towards the northeast in just a couple of minutes here. This also will be making its way out of our area. Again, it is uh, uh, just 10 miles from the Lincoln Parish line. So uh, if you know of someone who is in Lincoln Parish, kind of zoom this out, you can kind of see that this uh, 
could be working its way up uh, north of Jonesboro and Hodge and eventually up uh, towards Eros uh, and uh, looks like well south of Ruston is where that's going to be moving uh, through that uh, particular part, that and Jackson, Paris, I should say. And uh, you can see the storm here, uh, which is approaching Arcadia. Still have a pretty good signature indicated here with pinpoint Doppler. Notice that B BTI number is sitting at 4.3, uh, indicating that when we see that in excess of 4, today that's been an indica indicator that uh, uh, we likely have seen something develop, and you can kind of see how this matches up with the uh, red away, green tours, the radar over here in Shreveport, so you can kind of see where that is, uh, uh, where that is going, and uh, uh, kind of give you some perspective on this. I'm going to do this in a little 3D action here and show you where this is going. So you, you folks in Arcadia, you can kind of see that this could be headed your way. So I'll put this in the motion, and uh, you'll see the motion of this thunderstorm is, it looks like it is moving from Mount uh, Lebanon up towards the Arcadia area. So that, uh, again, another aspect of this where uh, you folks in Arcadia be just a few minutes away. Uh, kind of give you a, here in a second here, get the map situated once again. Uh, the location of this right now as it uh, continues to move to the uh, north and east. And this is probably going to be uh, the last of the storms with this first wave that we will see uh, tornado issues, hopefully anyway. Uh, go ahead and stop the uh, loop here. And you can see it looks like it is south of Fords right now. This is what we're looking at as far as the current location. Uh, it looks like it just got an update. Go ahead, Josh. Just jumped. It would have been over pole. Uh, pull bridge road at that point now that it's moving into Arcadia I mean it looks like it's headed yeah. right for the uh, yeah. main part of town there so and pretty much anywhere in Arcadia need to be in your yeah. safe spot as of right now so we look, we're looking at our possible tornado here and here is Arcadia so it's uh, bearing down on Arcadia uh, as we speak here in the next minute or two so you should be in your place of safety as uh, again we look at the traditional radar to show you what's happening uh, as the uh, you've already seen some very heavy rain there in that particular part of uh, the Oracle text there in Arcadia. Uh, again, we have uh, this area right here is the area that of concern right now yeah, as looks, this uh, moves Looks like in. there was maybe a little bit of debris on the last scan as well. So I still believe we have a tornado yeah, on the ground there. Very possible. Uh, so again, further to the south, it looks like uh, the rest of Bienville Parish uh, looks like... Uh, just about ready to clear, and then we'll be watching the southern part of this, which does not look as intense as the uh, storms that we were watching earlier. And it looks like, oh, there it goes. I was going to say I locked up again. But you can see the uh, storms extending from, it's already moved through center. It looks like a leading edge here, uh, Zuwali uh, to about uh, Natchitoches, just north of Natchitoches. Zoom this in just a touch here. Uh, you can see it uh, near Campty, uh, Goldano. I have to keep an eye on this uh, part of the cell here. Uh, this line near Campty, that's some, something worth watching as we move forward. Uh, but right now, the main concern is with the storm that is right now near Arcadia. You can clearly see uh, on uh, Pinpoint Doppler right now that we do have a uh, signature indicated here. We see these cylinders. That is, uh, when you see that, it's time to act. And we do have a tornado warning that is currently in effect. So let's go back and, <coughs> and show you the velocity scan of the radar. And you can see that it is... Uh, right in here right now, approaching the Arcadia, Louisiana area. I'll show you the shear aspect of this. Uh, again, we're talking this right here. Here's the winds that are moving into Arcadia. So uh, again, Arcadia getting the brunt of uh, the thunderstorm activity as we speak. Let's, uh, as that approaches Arcadia and we wait more information to come in, let's uh, show you some uh, views from around the Oracle text as we do have, uh, again, in Shreveport, we did see the line of thunderstorms come through. We haven't had any damage reports at all, huh? I haven't seen anything, and again, it may just be that they're slow to trickle in. I think the weather yeah. service is busy with the warnings That's right true. now, but uh, it may be shortly that we start to see yeah, some damage we'll reports as far as trees and things like yeah, that come we in. we probably do have. Hey, can you check swap code to see if we have any sure. outages? Uh, so there's uh, the view from uh, Shreveport. Uh, let's go to Marshall and probably looking at an even better view there. You can see it has quieted down uh, as far as uh, Shreveport is concerned. Uh, the view from uh, downtown Marshall right now, give that another click. And you can see that uh, it's still cloudy and a little bit of rain, but obviously not uh, as bad as it was. Haven't heard from Jesse in a while. I believe he is headed south. If uh, I saw him on the map earlier, see if I could see his signal 
Uh, there is a delay, which means that maybe we don't have it. Looks like he is offline uh, once again. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, again, Arcadia looks like that cell may have moved through the Arcadia area. So let's go back to the uh, velocity scan here as we do have some. There's uh, a debris signature there. Okay. Yeah, somewhat. It looks like it possible. Again, we're kind of far away from the radar, so how does that match up with the velocity? It was there the last yep. few yeah, was so it? I do believe <clears throat> we probably still have something on the ground. Okay, so it looks like we do have, uh, again, uh, right in here, possible debris, which is uh, approaching the Arcadia area. So, again, uh, this is moving into Arcadia right now. Uh, probably of the touchdowns that we've seen, this would be the largest community that we've seen affected by uh, at least something that's showing some debris. So uh, again, in Arcadia, uh, time is now, and hopefully you're already in your place of safety, and we'll keep an eye on this uh, to keep you abreast as far as uh, when this is gonna be moving through. Another look at the velocity scan. Don't see anything that says it's uh, quite through just yet. Maybe this one uh, could be a, a sign that has moved through, but still not quite out of the woods yet as we do still have uh, uh, indication of some, of some debris there in the uh, Ar uh, near Arcadia, and that not seeing anything else that screams because uh, we're getting really, really far from the radar. So it's really might be a good idea to to look at other things here. So you can see here, just looking at uh, looks like in terms of the latest updates on the shear aspect of this is this has moved uh, through the Arcadia area. This could be the best indication yet that this has moved through. So this could be where we could be looking at our uh, tornado here which has passed through Arcadia. You can kind of see it kind of uh, matches up with the course of what we've been looking at and again it looks like it's going to soon cross uh, into uh, uh, parts of uh, Lincoln Parish here and we'll be moving out of our viewing area here uh, during the course of the uh, next couple of minutes. So it does look like perhaps that we've seen, uh, it looks like the uh, CC product here is catching up. So again it looks like uh, that has passed Arcadia right now and will soon be crossing uh, the border into Lincoln Parish. And we have about 20,000 SWEPCO reporting about 20,000 power outages, uh, about half of those in Caddo and Bossier Parishes, okay, so uh, we, and we about 5,000 in Gregg County in Texas, so right along I-20 is yeah. where most of those outages are. Yeah, so again, as Josh mentioned, 20,000. That tells you that we probably do have quite a few trees down across the region, uh, in, uh, especially uh, in Caddo, Bossier parishes. What about Bossier? Are there many outages there? Because we, we saw yeah. the lights flicker here. Yeah, there's 4,400 outages in Bossier. Okay. It's just Swepco and then 5,300 in Caddo. DeSoto has 2,000. Wow, okay. So again, DeSoto, we did have that one cell that we were tracking through there as well. So uh, again, it looks like this line is about ready to move out of the, uh, at least the, the worst part of this is getting ready to move out of the uh, viewing area. Let's take another quick look at the bottom edge of this very closely one more time uh, as uh, we'll wait for that cell in Arcadia to move out of our viewing area and then we'll send it back to regular programming. Uh, but you can see the uh, storm here near Campty, not really seeing much that indicates uh, anything uh, spinning there and that is also the case here further to the south. Do have some wind, wind issues, but nothing that uh, would uh, be a big indication of anything too severe across the southern sections of the area. So again, we are keeping an eye one more time on uh, this uh, cell here, which is near Arcadia. Uh, and it uh, looks like the worst has moved through and is uh, moving out of the Arcadia area. Quick look at the debris signature indicator once, once again. Double clicked it. And you can see that uh, does look like it has uh, moved off to the east of Arcadia. So. Uh, it looks like we have, again, a tornado that has touched down in Arcadia. Again, just looking at this, now, not 100% certain, but it's, uh, as Josh mentioned, quite probable. The only thing that bothers me is this is a ways away from the radar. So uh, nonetheless, uh, we'll be checking in on Arcadia to see what has happened there. And it looks like this storm has made its way out of Bienville Parish. Overall view of what's happening here across the Oracle Tex, and then we'll send it back to regular programming and kind of share with you what we're looking at for the uh, rest of the day. Now we do have the line of storms, which is making its way out of the eastern edge of the Oracle Tex. Southern part of the area of this line right now is not severe. 
as you can see here. Uh, but we'll be monitoring this as this moves across the rest of Sabine and Natchez parishes uh, during the next couple of hours. We'll take a bit of a break, and then later on this afternoon, it's quite possible that we will see more thunderstorms begin to develop off to our north and west, and those storms would move uh, northeast across the northern sections of the area later on this afternoon, and those too could pose a threat for uh, some, maybe some hail, maybe some damaging winds, and maybe a tornado or two. So that's wave two that we talked about and been talking about for the last couple of days that we'll be watching for as we work our way uh, through the rest of the day today. Uh, after that, or be, except for that, as we kind of zoom out somewhat, uh, one more thing to point out to you is a lot of you probably will see some sunshine here uh, in the uh, next uh, a couple of hours as we will see as we look at the national uh, view of satellite here, look at the visible satellite and this shows us where uh, the clouds are beginning to uh, dissipate and you can see we are clearing right now in Tyler, clearing in Mount Pleasant. So this sunshine, as I zoom this out, uh, you'll see that uh, as I zoom this out, you can see the sunshine out here in Texas, and this is a big old dry slot, which is going to uh, dry us out, but keep in mind as the main upper level feature moves in, that could be enough with a little bit cooler air aloft to allow those, uh, that second wave of thunderstorms to develop uh, later on this afternoon. So that's pretty much what we're looking at as the worst of the storms right now uh, beginning to make their way out of the Arkletex as they are making their way uh, towards the east fairly rapidly. And uh, this part of the line here is the line which is severe, again, moving out of our area. We'll continue to monitor the southern sections of the Arkle, Texas as we go through the rest of the morning hours. And, of course, keep you updated here as well as on our website at arkletexhomepage.com. And, of course, also we'll be monitoring the possibility for more st storms uh, later on this afternoon. But right now we're going to send you back to regular programming. But, again, stay tuned to arkletexhomepage.com for further updates throughout the day. This is a severe weather alert from your weather authority.